Hi Charlie, it's a disappointing 5-1 home defeat here against Air United at Capo today. Can I get your reaction uh, to the resultant performance please? Yeah, it's um, it's not good enough at the end of the day. I think uh, a team like ours, the players we've got, shouldn't be losing to Air United. Uh, especially with the way we played after the initial 10-15 minutes, I thought we <clears throat> got ourselves back into it. I think we settled the nerves and we did play some, some good stuff. We got... Midge and Tids and Jim on the ball in nice areas and tried to get us more forward players on the ball and we got ourselves a goal and then we went out at half time quite happy, 1-1 I think to be back in the game and then second half next 15-20 minutes I thought we were the only team that were going to go and win um, we're unfortunate to miss the penalty um, Tids has been brilliant for us all season so can't blame him because he's popped up with goals for all season so um, yeah and then after that we just kind of Capitulated. We just won the ball. We were getting beaten. I mean, that's just that's not the defence's fault. It's the whole team's fault, and we have to take responsibility as a unit. Um, and I'm sure we'll go and watch it on Monday, and we'll learn from it. You mentioned there you go behind to Lawn Shankland, but you equalise, well taken goal. You just must be feeling quite confident in that stage. It seemed to be going well, even with the start of the second half. Yeah. Um, we conceded a, rubber, a bad goal our, in our perspective um, where we, sh we should be defending it better but yeah we, we don't go, go and get a goal, we press them high and we win the ball and fortunately enough it's me it gets on the end of it um, and then I think after that we were, I don't think we had that many clear cut chances but I think we were the team that <coughs> were in control um, yeah and to get in a half time we were, we were happy at 1-1 It's your first goal for the club Obviously that's a, a nice thing, but I'd imagine it's meaningless to you today. Yeah, of course. Um, obviously I'd been out of the team for a few weeks um, with the manager changing, the manager coming in, not being out, being in the squad, uh, in the team, coming on a few times. But yeah, it's nice and what you want to do is contribute when you get into the team and I was happy to get the goal, but as you said, it's kind of meaningless now. Um, but on a personal, it's always nice to get a goal. After that, it's... Air United scored basically three goals inside eight minutes. That must have been a real source of disappointment. I think you used the word capitulation just to concede so quick and rapid fashion. Yeah, they always say that you're most vulnerable after you score, but you need to you're vulnerable again when you score because uh, you're uh, when they score because you automatically want to go and get back in the game, and that's kind of it's poor on our sense. We've got experienced balls in our team that need to take the game by a scruff of the neck, calm it down if that means the next 10 minutes we settle it 2-1, just keep ourselves in the game and we'll get a chance as the manager said at the end of the game we then go and chase, make some mistakes and we pay the price for it The manager said it was embarrassing is that how you guys feel as players in that squad as well? Yeah, yeah. there's no no other word really to describe it I think um, the manager came in and he said what had to be said and I don't think anyone else disagrees with him, he's right and this is a tough league and they're m matches that you should be winning and we've lost at 5-1 which is which is yeah, ridiculous so yeah he's right it is embarrassing but we can't boys need to just go away think about it and come on Monday and be ready to put that right next Saturday There's a media, a few home truths delivered at full time in the dressing room Yeah I think you're right I think they were correct and I think what the manager said, everyone expected him saying if he hadn't said it would have all been a bit um, questioning it. So he came in, was honest, told the truth and uh, we all knew as players playing and even the boys on the bench what had happened and what, what was wrong and what needed what needs to be readdressed. So yeah, he was right and we'll need to build from it. Monday now, need to go again. Is it easy to, or was it? difficult to pick yourself up again on Monday uh, how does it work in terms of when you get such a, a disappointing result to go back in on Monday? No I think well I, I, I'm not um, I'm, if anything it makes you drive a wee, have a wee bit more drive and a wee bit more determination to put things right because there's fans turned up today and it's it's unacceptable they pay their money to come and we put in a 20 minute display like that at the end and it's not fair on them and if anything it means we're all Myself personally, and I think speaking behalf of the team, are ready to put that right. And I think about there'll be a determination and drive this week to go up to Inverness and get a good result. 
Excellent, Charlie. Thank you very much for your time. Cheers, Charlie.